What's up guys, Ghost here, and today I'm taking a look at Venice Unleashed, a new modded client for Battlefield 3 that's just entered open beta. Now for those of you who played Battlefield 3, you may remember the community campaigning against certain aspects of the game that were thought to make it an unenjoyable experience. Things like the blue tint in the game, suppression effects, or the ridiculously bright sun. DICE didn't listen to us on this occasion, and as such, a talented group of modders have taken it upon themselves to change the game to their liking. Which gives us Venish Unleashed, and if you're asking why the seemingly unrelated name, it was actually the code name given to Battlefield 3 before its release. So what can you do with this mod? Well, at the moment, we've seen aesthetic changes such as the removal of the aforementioned blue tint and glaring sun, which are just god-awful, and turn firefights into a one-sided affair. They've done away with suppression, which, for those who don't know, was much more debilitating than it is in Battlefield 4, and they've implemented spectator mode. I honestly don't know how much of a competitive scene there is for Battlefield 3 these days, if any, but who knows? Maybe one could emerge from this mod. I mean, just look at Counter-Strike. That started off as a mod for the original Half-Life, and now it's the most competitive and popular shooter on the planet. They've also gotten busy improving the servers with higher tick rates of 60Hz up to 120Hz, and now any server provider can host a server if they so choose, instead of the limited selection that DICE allows. Now for the keen eyed among you, you may notice I'm running around with a Spaz 12 shotgun equipped with slugs and a silencer. For those of you who don't know, silencers weren't actually available for the shotguns in Battlefield 3 and were reserved only as a developer perk. Well, no longer. When you jump into Venice Unleashed and play for the first time, you don't really notice a whole lot that's different. The game feels a little snappier, what with the higher tick rates, and you quickly adjust to the occlusion of the sun and the blue tint, but other than that, there's not a whole lot that's different. But then we're still simply testing the water. Currently, the majority of the modifications are done using Venice EXT, an extension mod that allows manipulation of the game files and applies them to a server when you load in. So this is how the blue tint or the glaring sun is toggled off, for example. But what really excites me is what modders will be able to make with Rhyme, a new custom editor for the Frostbite engine that these guys are building from the ground up. So far we've been teased with images such as this reskin Magnum, and they've even managed to patch in what looks like the two-seater jet from the single player campaign. Who can tell if it's actually functional of course, but the potential for this kind of thing is huge, and the Rhyme mod is still in relatively early days. It's actually really sad that DICE don't include any modding tools with their newest Battlefield releases. After Patrick Back famously said, modding is a declining trend. If the modding scene had been paid more mind, then maybe instead of talking about the potential for a competitive Battlefield title, we'd actually have one. The most popular titles these days all came from mods, and it's not just Counter-Strike. Team Fortress was a mod for Quake. Dota, aka Defense of the Ancients, was a mod for Warcraft 3, and that went on to spawn an entire genre that we now know as MOBAs. From there, we have League of Legends and Heroes of the Storm. I honestly don't know how DICE could overlook that, and I'm not even a games developer or working within the industry, I'm just a guy at a computer. So Venice Unleashed guys, if you'd like to try out for yourself, you will need an installed copy of Battlefield 3 along with the Venice Unleashed client that you can download at the link below. It involves a little messing around creating an emulated Nexus account and linking your Origin account, but it's all fairly straightforward. I will be watching this mod very closely, and if anything cool appears on there, I'll be covering that on the channel for sure. Thank you for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you do hop onto Venice Unleashed and give it a go, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. You guys know I'm always up for a chat down there. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, and I'll see you in the next one.